I am just, I don't really think I've got better at it either. I don't really think I've settled into this new life. I remain a bellend. Uh, everything I do, like the first, the first bit of post we had that had both our names on it, I thought that's a significant moment, isn't it? So I called her down the stairs and I said, oh, we've had our first letter with me and you come down. I took a picture of it, right? I had to delete the picture of my friend in the hat. Not happening, not happening. <laughs> so I come downstairs and she said, oh, what is it? And I opened it, I said, oh, <laughs> it's, um, it's a bill from the council because I don't get single occupancy discount anymore. <laughs> Oh dear. Good moment to flag up that, isn't it? She said, oh, what does that mean? I said, well, it's basically an accurate figure to the penny of how much more it's going to cost me to be in love with you. Really. <laughs> you, you pop back upstairs, I'm going to do some sums. <laughs> love versus council tax. <laughs> I wasn't lying either as well earlier. That is a direct quote from our relationship, that one. Can I just talk you through how we're supposed to load the dishwasher? Uh, <laughs> I, um, I noticed that you've put the... Uh, this is the sharp chopping knife here, but you've put that facing upwards. Uh, I just wanted to know, really, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> what if I'd slipped? Or is that the game, is it? You fill the dishwasher, I empty it, slice my hand open, bleed to death, you get the house. Good luck paying the council tax. That's gone through the fucking roof. <laughs> Where are you going? I haven't finished. Come back, please. This is the wooden handle chopping knife. It shouldn't be in there anyway. You don't soak wood, do you? Look at the laminated list. <laughs> Complete bellend. The only reason we're together is because I've discovered a thing that you can do in relationships. And as if you're in one or not in one, this is useful information to know. There's a thing you can do which is called lying. Right. <laughs> what that is, it's an absolute godsend. It means you get to do one thing, but tell them you've done another, and your relationship is basically salvaged as a result, right? I'm not talking about big things like affairs or stealing, just little things like, for example, we have separate toothpaste now, right? And I've told her that's because uh, she likes the whitening toothpaste, but I need the sensitive gums one, because I have sensitive gums. I don't have sensitive gums, I never have. We have separate toothpaste, because she squeezes the tube from the middle, and it makes one to jump out of the window. <laughs> Obviously best we don't have that conversation. <laughs> You're right, John. No, I'm not. I just touched the toothpaste again. Yeah, that really made me feel physically sick. <laughs> I'm squidgy at either end, but so hard in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know when there's none left? Because there's none left. Ooh, no, no. You're supposed to roll it from the bottom, aren't you? <laughs> it's better. Do you mean better or just less fun? Mm, <laughs> So now we just, she has hers over there. She's got hers that she can mangle and garrot and do <laughs> trap in the door. I've driven over by tank. So whatever she does that makes it look that way. And I've got mine over here like a little minty sleeping bag. Oh, <laughs> so tight. Oh, <laughs> incredible. There's one thing I did, which is like, this is, as far as I'm concerned, if you stay with someone after this sort of thing happens, everything that happens thenceforth is your fault, right? And if, if I've become happy, it's completely not my choice, right? And this is also the last bit as well. This is and not the pretendy last bit. This is the bit that would be the encore if I was going to trick you into pretending I've finished. But you all know there's another bit, but I'm not going to do it until you love me enough. <laughs> so we'll just, well, I'll just tell all the bits and then we'll all go home. Because um, it's sad, isn't it? What happens is I tend to get to about here and I think they've had enough and I just fuck off and don't do the last bit. <laughs> so and I'll do all the stories in a row and then you can go home because I need to stay behind and sort that fucking business out. <laughs> I'm only thinking I haven't noticed that that's been following me around for the last two hours. <laughs> Looks like a bull that's had its balls ripped out. <laughs> and I've just left them hanging. Horrible. Oh, you, you pop off home and I'm going to really pull that. <laughs> You've got to twist the mic slowly. It takes hours, but it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> that's my encore. <laughs> What happened when, when we first started going out, me and, me and this uh, lady, obviously, we met by chance at this bar, as I said, and we had a few drinks, we went back our separate ways, right? And then uh, a few weeks later, I bumped into her again. And obviously, you know each other a little bit more, so we had a few more drinks, and we we're a bit further on. So come the end of the evening, without giving too much away, we did not go back to separate houses. Uh, she came back to Casa del Rico for a good time. <laughs> Mainly, I think, because she doesn't know I call it that. <laughs> 
to come back to Casa del Rico? No, I don't, and kill yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll just call it my house when I'm talking to civvies. Um, I said, do you want to come back to my house? And she said, yeah, we went back to my house. And I, uh, oh, oh, did my best. <laughs> it's the fairest thing to say. I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. <laughs> Tried my hardest. I did all my move. Um, <laughs> which is to say I touched everything for an even number of times on each side. <laughs> That's what I'm packing in the bedroom. I may leave you unsatisfied. I will not leave you unbalanced. <laughs> and you're lying there at night thinking, he only did that one twice. Oh, I'm getting there. <laughs> Tip for the gentleman in the room, don't count out loud. That's, uh, <laughs> that creates the impression you want to finish. Five, six, next. <laughs> my turn now, and all my bits are symmetrical. You're welcome. <laughs> all my bit. Um, <laughs> Anyway, do, you know, do whatever, and then uh, go to bed, and uh, wake up in the morning, and I drive her to the station. Right? Not straight away again, because I know something about lovemaking, and that's not the way you wake a lover, is it? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Tick-tock, fuck off a clock. <laughs> Allow each other to wake up gently, and then you put homes under the hammer on, and you lie about how capable. Oh yeah, I've done a bit of stud partition. In anyway, I'm just going to go downstairs and make some toast before you ask me what that is. Go <laughs> um, downstairs, get some breakfast, come back up, and you go. Oh, there's some toast over there for you on the desk, so you don't get crumbs in the bed. <laughs> Whisper the last bit. She'll find out soon enough. Right. <clears throat> Eventually, she said, "Oh shit, I need to go to work." I said, "Don't worry about that. I'll drive you to the station." Right. So we'll get in the car and we're driving. When you go out, that's when you realise everyone you think knows what you've done. So you giggly and you know. <laughs> I had a really good time, and I had a really good time. And I, she said, oh, I'd like to see you again. I said, oh, I'd like to see you again. And she said, oh, do you want my number then so we can plan a date? I said, of course I do. I said, oh, I'm driving. I'll give you my number. You call me, you'll have my number. So I give her my number, right? She rings me. That's when I remember I've got Bluetooth. The whole car lights up, and across the dashboard come the words, my wife. 